guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I do videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you do like my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And in today's video, it's going to be a fashion one. I'm going to be discussing your closet, wardrobe, basics, your essentials, the things you definitely need in your closet to build up your wardrobe. So if you are interested in watching this video, then just stay tuned. So I had just finished filming the video and I was like, wait, I wanted to tell them about this. This is this like face net. It's a face net that you put over your face like so. You can zip it. Where's the zipper? You don't even have to zip it. Then you put your clothes on so you don't get any makeup on it. I completely forgot to talk about this. This is such a wardrobe essential, especially if you're a girl that wears makeup and you wanna wear your whites and your creams and you don't wanna stain it. This is on Amazon as well. I'm going to link it. None of my links are affiliate links. I wish they were, but check it out because I really think this is a really good like idea. Really, really good. So yeah, okay, bye. So I have here my basics. What I, what I wear at least three times a week. These are my closet essentials. So when we talk about um, things that we have to have, it's things that really build up your wardrobe, um, things that make you feel good, that are easy. Those are what, that's what at least I think about when I think about wardrobe essentials. As you guys can tell, my style is more neutral, minimalist, but I also have an edgy side because I really take inspiration from people like Kim Kardashian and a little bit of Rihanna. Those are my girls. <laughs> you know, I love their fashions now, but um, to keep it basic, this is what I stick with because I'm not a celebrity at the end of the day. So yeah, these are my basic essentials, very neutral tones, but um, every once in a while I like to touch in a pop of color. So when we start off with our clothes, we want to talk about what's underneath our clothes, what you know makes us feel good underneath because those are the items that are stuck to us for really the longest part of our day. So I'm going to talk to you guys about bras. Now, I'm not going to get too in deep because I want to do a separate video on like Spanx and undergarments, stuff like that. But I do want to recommend you guys try the t-shirt bra from Victoria's Secret for my ladies out there. If you are really looking for bras that like, like are comfortable, but like also like give you that little push, this t-shirt bra, it's actually from the pink line. It's like so perfect. Um... I love it. I don't have it on right now because I have on a strapless bra. Strapless bra is also really good essentials. But definitely making sure that you have the right bras. Make sure you get size. If you go to Victoria's Secret or Soma or any like undergarment store, make sure you get size. And make sure when they size you, the bra is actually comfortable for you. It shouldn't be pulling you down. Like this one I have on now, it's not the best one. But you shouldn't have to keep pulling it up if it's strapless. You know, you shouldn't have to adjust the straps too much if it is strapped. It should be, like, comfortable. So make sure you're getting really comfortable undergarments. I will as well say um, things that suck you in. I have, um, like, a little, I don't know if this is really considered Sphinx, but it's like an undergarment from, I just got this one from Ross. But it kind of, like, helps suck in every once in a while when I'm wearing a dress and I'm, I know I'm going to eat. Or I'm feeling a little bloated that day. Things like that really put you together and make you look more, you know, sleek. So yeah, I definitely would recommend some great undergarments. So now moving on, I'm gonna start with tops. As you guys can see, I have on a bodysuit um, and I have it in white, but I do recommend getting these bodysuits from Zara. Uh, a couple of places do bodysuits like this too, but bodysuits, I have them in all different colors. Some are not even from Zara. Um, I know pretty little thing different places do these but I like the ones from Zara specifically they're very very comfortable um, and they just like they have that it's kind of like this one has that little sexy peak at the side but it just looks elegant like you're not trying too hard also you can do your um, white tea and your black tea these are from Target super affordable that's another thing capsule um, capsule items in your wardrobe or essentials they don't have to be expensive um, you can get them expensive because they last longer, but these last pretty well. And I don't, I didn't pay more than ten dollars for these. I know the bodysuits are like twenty bucks. So again, it's all up to what you want to like spend, but definitely make sure you have those essentials. 
um, in your closet. So like, you know, your blacks, your whites, your nudes. And then if you like a pop of color, you know, throw in your yellow, throw in your blue, whatever. But make sure you have it in a basic um, type of style that you can style with other pieces. Um, another thing I would definitely recommend is a boyfriend. Is this what? A boyfriend shirt? Maybe I'm just making that up. <laughs> but this is like your oversized white button down. You can style this so many ways. Um, you can style it as a dress if you're a little more like edgy. Um, you can style it just with jeans, oversized. You can tie it up and make it into a cute blouse. There's so many things you can do to style this. But this is definitely an essential. And it's just really comfortable. Like, I like my essential pieces to be comfortable because I don't like being uncomfortable. I just, I don't like that. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely feel like this would be good in your closet. This one is from H&M. But you can find these anywhere. Any, anywhere. The next thing I want to talk about, kind of like your, um, your oversized top blouses this blouse is from um boohoo and this is like my like my favorite blouse in my closet like i love it because it's cute you can wear it to brunch you can wear it girls night out you can wear it on date night like i'm gonna wear it because i like it so much and you can wear this with jeans you can wear this with your skirts um it's just cute guys like i don't even know what to say and it, it has a little bit of, like, if you're wearing it without a shirt, I have a shirt on, obviously, underneath. It gives you a little bit of cleavage, if that's what you're into. And if you want to, you can pin it or whatever. But um, to give me that, like, cute, I don't even know if I tied it right right now. I could probably do another button. But to give me that kind of, like, cute, let me fix it, cute, loose blouse. I love the material, too. It's not too, like, restricting. Um... It's a, like a almost like a linen material. It's really, really soft. I want more blouses like this. I know people do these like in the satin blouse too. Those are really cute too. So really cute blouses in your wardrobe. Whatever makes you feel, you know, if you want to feel feminine, feel feminine in a cute little blouse with a little bit of cleavage or lace, like a nice lace bodysuit or, you know, just feminine cute things that you can wear that you're not trying too hard. So yeah, I would definitely recommend good blouses in your closet. Not just one, but it is an essential. You know, you can build it up, so yeah. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is cardigan. Cardigans, sweaters, <laughs> a cardigan. This one is, one I just picked up from Marshalls, believe it or not. This one is long and it has pockets. Um, it got stained, so I'm, I'm in the market for a new one. But a cardigan is definitely essential because the weather changes all the time. I'm in Texas. So we constantly have weather changes. You have to be ready. You have to be arm ready. Umbrella, rain boots, jackets. But cardigans for sure. Um, I like this one like going to the office, especially when I get cold. I, I either keep it on my chair or I always wear it with my outfits. Again, I like a neutral color because they just go with multiple outfits. Like it'll go with anything in my um and my essentials so definitely would recommend a cardigan there is one from zara that i'm it's a 90 dollar cardigan but i saw it on tiara walker i have to have it i'm gonna i'm gonna get that cardigan guys i'm gonna get it but um yeah i would definitely recommend having a cardigan in your closet the next thing i want to talk about is co-ord set a co-ord set is a you guys know what a cord set is it's a it's a matching outfit pretty much It'll have a top and bottom or a dress and a cardigan like this one. Or or I guess you could call this more like a jacket. Um, a top and a skirt. It's a set. The reason why I feel like this is an essential, some may disagree with me. It is an essential because it's easy. Like I said, essentials should be basic, easy, and comfortable. You don't have to think about what you're going to want on the bottom or what am I going to want on the top. The outfit already matches. And I know a lot of places do cohort sets now. Like if you're shopping on like Fashion Nova or wherever, they have a section just for cohort sets. I love it. This one is actually from Fashion Nova. And I'm going to insert picture because I already um, took pictures in this. It's a brown. Definitely was a big. It's, it's a big color right now is that brown. Um, it's a dress. It's a bandeau dress and a top. And I just love that I can style this with white heels, black heels, nude heels. Like, it's just super easy, and it's cute too. Like, people like stuff like this. So, yes, I would 10 out of 10 recommend a matching set, okay? Get one, you need one. All right. Next, a little black dress. 
you need a little black dress. You need it. Why? Because everybody looks good in black. Everyone looks good in black. So yes, you need a little black dress. And you can have more than one. Um, I have a little black dress, little white dress. But definitely, if you're building your wardrobe, you need a little black dress. This one is actually from Ross. I'm giving y'all all a uh, uh, price ranges here. This one was from Ross and it's $10. It's uh, more of on the midi side because I'm a midi dress, midi skirt type of girl just because I'm 5'5 five five and I have curves and I like to give it, you know? <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely a must have in your wardrobe is a little black dress. Okay, so the next must have that I wanna talk about are blazers. So blazers are really important because they give you that mature vibe to your outfit. Um, a lot of times if you're going for interviews or like business meetings, you want to present yourself in a certain way. I do feel like blazers kind of give you that, I'm ready, like I'm here, like command the room. <laughs> but that's just how I feel. I don't wear blazers often, but when I do, I definitely like to have like a more mature, a little bit more masculine um, type of vibe. This one that I have is from Zara, um, and it's the their popular leather blazer. I know a lot of places are doing one now, but um, surprise, mine is from Zara. <laughs> but um, this has also been acting as my winter coat because I don't really go. I haven't really gone out a lot in the winter and fall seasons, and I, I haven't been buying like winter stuff. I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> so the one that I did purchase, I've been wearing this to death, and I get so many compliments on it. I actually styled this blazer with this black dress that I showed you guys, so I'm going to put that picture, but um, yeah, I would definitely recommend you have a blazer because you need one. Like, we're no longer small girls, and even if you are a small girl, if, in college we had like little meetings and stuff, you have interviews to go to, girl, get you a blazer, okay, period. <laughs> it was going to come, like I knew I was going to say it in this video, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, get a blazer. Next thing I want to talk about, I'm wearing, okay? So I'm wearing a midi skirt. I think a midi skirt is an essential, not minty, mini, uh, midi. <laughs> midi skirts. Midi skirts are the ones that go like past your knee. This one is from Fashion Nova and it actually is not like super fitted at the bottom. It's actually a little... Okay, so this skirt, I don't know how much of y'all, how much of it y'all can see but it's like a little flowy at the bottom. I love wearing this to like church or like a cute little date night with like a cute little top, kind of like this. I like the way it sucks me in here and it's just really, really cute. It looks good on women of all shapes and sizes and heights. Midi dresses, midi skirts are just really nice. Uh, midi dresses are good too, but yeah, I really, really like this one. And again, it, it hugs your curves, you know, it gives you the boom, boom, boom that you like, so yeah. Definitely would recommend having a midi skirt in your word wardrobe. Okay, I have two more items to discuss. The infamous mom jeans. Now, they don't have to be mom jeans. Any pair of jeans that you feel comfortable in, make it a wardrobe essential. I would say I have at least three pairs of jeans. Some people are not jeans people, I get it. But, you know, I'm a jeans person, so this is a wardrobe essential for me. These, again, are from Zara. And I like the, Zara needs to just run me a check, because I, I, I just don't understand. <laughs> I like the little, this vibe on the back of the jeans, it just gives it that authentic look. Um, but yeah, I even have some from Fashion Nova that I like as well. But make, jeans is just easy to dress up, like, and you know, when you go to the office on Fridays, you can wear jeans. It's, <laughs> that's what I used to get excited about for like working in the office, wearing jeans on Friday. So yeah, I would definitely recommend having a pair of jeans in your wardrobe. Okay, last but not least are tailored trousers. Now, the reason why I feel like these are wardrobe essential is because whether you are you work from home or you're an entrepreneur, you're a business, like whatever you do, there are gonna be times where you have to dress professional. Like that's just, the truth of the matter and that was my reasoning behind having a blazer as well um and also i just like the way they look like i like the mature look it gives your your outfit these are from h&m and they're not super tight they are a size eight so they're more on the loose fitting but i like like the hem of the bottom i also like if i find a nice pair of pants from somewhere i'll like get them hemmed so they can look a certain way because i really like things to look very detailed on me 
So, um, yes, a nice pair of tailored trousers is really, really important in your closet and it, it just elevates your style overall. So I definitely think you should have a pair of tailored pants. Okay, these are the last items I want to talk to you guys about and they are shoes. Yes, yes, yes. So I, again, go for comfortability, but I also like to look sexy. So um, I'm going to show you two pairs of shoes. First, I'm going to show you my comfy, like I'm on the go type of shoe and they are going to be trainers. These are Nike Air Maxes. Um, and they are white, so I always, you know, say get get a color that you really don't want to get stained a lot. So I'd probably get these in like a gray or a black. They go with all my outfits, all my basics. Um, when I'm wearing like my sweats and stuff and I have to quickly run errands. I just like to look put together, but like I didn't try too hard. But yeah, these are also comfortable. That's what I also like. I wore these all through Vegas. So yeah, I would definitely say you need a pair of like trainers in your next my black heels you need black heels don't pretend like you don't even if you don't wear heels you need like a pair of like black like flats whatever you feel is more comfortable for you because some women don't wear heels and I get it like it's hard out here but I like to look sexy like I was saying so a nice pair of sexy heels I don't go overboard with my heels like you won't see me wearing anything past four inches to be honest that's just me I think these are like a four and a half inch these are from Topshop and um, they're just like classic black strappy heels. You can do cover toes if that's your vibe too, but I like the little strappy heels, I like that vibe. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend. Again, they go out my outfits. And I, I wore them with my, my black leather blazer and my um, black dress, so you know, all black is a vibe. So definitely, definitely you need black heels. And get heels that are comfortable for you. Like if they're not comfortable, don't wear them because around here we're all about being comfortable, okay? So yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Those were my wardrobe basics, my essentials, the things you need to have in your closet. Let me know down in the description box um, what your wardrobe essentials are. Something maybe I missed that I need to add to my wardrobe essentials. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up because I definitely love fashions. So I want to do more. Um, until next time, you guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.